by far one of the better low post players in the league. Riller, oh my goodness. Knows how far he was, and that might be on the film <laughs> section tomorrow. Riller hanging oh, with come the on, left man. hand. Come on. Hey, what's up, guys? It is Dives, Mr. Crockpot on Twitter. Welcome, everybody, to the Painted Lines YouTube channel. Today, we are talking about Grant Riller, one of the top prospects in this year's NBA draft. Before we get started, though, make sure you lock it down to thepaintedlines.com and follow my man Tiago on Twitter, at TScabia. He wrote an in-depth breakdown on this guy. You can find the full article over at thepaintedlines.com. This draft target looks at one of college basketball's most decorated players in Grant Riller. The Orlando native is no stranger to the record books. Grant Riller amassed an array of accolades at the College of Charleston, turning into one of the most productive small school prospects in recent memory. This journey now takes him into the NBA, where Riller will have a chance to showcase his potential. Grant Riller's journey to the NBA draft can be summarized in two very distinct phases. As a two-star recruit, he joined a seasoned Cougars team ready to contend. Riller entered the lineup as primarily an off-ball weapon. In his first two seasons, he carved the niche as a complementary piece. Riller was seldom used to create for himself and others. Nevertheless, this did not deter him from generating significant offense. By his second season, and on a team loaded with talent, Riller led the Cougars in scoring while shooting a healthy 39% from long distance. This was his bold statement. His time was now. From there, Grant Riller quickly developed into one of college basketball's main shot makers. From 2018 to 2020, Riller grew into a decisive downhill attacker. Enabled by Cougar's heavy pick and roll scheme, Riller blitzed defenses as a high usage combo guard. Over his last two seasons, he became one of five players to compile over 400 free throw attempts and 250 assists. It was this type of production that raised his status among the NBA ranks. But Grant Riller is not a unanimous slam dunk selection. Teams will prod at the lower level of competition he regularly faced. For Grant Riller, the focus will be on proving that his game translates even when asked to do much less with the basketball. Let's talk about strengths. First up, he's got a lethal first step. Grant Riller has an elite first step and bursts off the dribble. He can explode either left or right and pressure defenders in space. He's got a strong handle, he's comfortable changing directions, and good at setting up defenders with a bag of moves. Much of Grant Riller's offense can be encapsulated by his attacking nature. Riller possesses one of the quickest first steps in his draft class. For that reason, he often excels in isolation concepts. Per synergy, Riller scored in the 87th percentile on 90 isolation possessions this season. It is his ability to set up defenders with the dribble that immediately stands out. Grant Riller's combination of misdirection and quickness is his calling card. Riller is extremely difficult to contain in space, often using pick and roll concepts to pressure slower and stiffer defenders. Let's take a look at Grant Riller's lethal first step. Dribbles right around the entire team and he will lay it in and he... Possession after the foul before the break. Riller going between the legs, going at Darling at Mutz and he's... Like a man to man being played by Drexel. Riller, hesitation dribble, draws right around it, left hand layup in the front court. Nice on the left side line, drives left baseline, expulsion. Over to Riller. Riller goes right around Washington. Shot up in the pink court along the right side line. We'll skip it over to Grant Riller. Riller at the rim, layup left hand, good! Knows how far he was, and that might be on the film section tomorrow. Riller hanging oh, with the on, left man. hand. Come on. Kevin Anderson with another assist. Riller right to the rim. The defense will get a hand up and make a couple. They make a couple. Riller has it right from the Cobra bench. Euro step shot up off the glass. It's good. Next up, he is a potential three-way scorer. Grant Riller has high potential as a three-level scorer. He can create his own shot from a variety of different spots on the court. He's a strong athlete. He's decisive in attacking downhill. He will absorb and finish through contact. He provides a substantial rebounding presence, and he attacks the glass and pushes the offense in transition. Grant Riller also banks on the dribble to set up his shooting. Per synergy, 35% of Riller's shots came off the dribble. 
As a pull-up shooter, he mastered an impressive 1.0 points per possession, good for 87th percentile. His extreme first step is a big reason why. Another cause for success lies on the ability to set up defenders either left or right. It is this type of repertoire that makes Grant Riller such a tantalizing prospect. Defenders are unable to play specific angles and cut off his shooting. He is a career 35% shooter from three-point range on 4.0 attempts per game. Let's take a look at Grant Riller's three-level scoring potential. Riller, backing his way down. Step back jumper from the right wing, good. There's Green guarding Riller to start. Crossover, fade away from the top of the key is Fuller with his first two hoops as a knight. Riller from the right elbow, that's it. <laughs> Saturday from three, just 29%, two of seven. Riller splits an entire team of white jerseys. Get a much better job getting defenders on the move. They were so stagnant against that zone and that defense earlier. Riller with working 10 seconds. Step back, three pointer. Good. Point to go in this second half. Largest lead of the game for the Seahawks. Riller drives, reverse dribble, leans in. Now he rolls to the basket, though. Riller from the logo, backs it off. I'd foul him right now. Four seconds. It's too late. Too and he late. nails. By far, one of the better locals players in the league. Riller, oh my goodness. And then we get to possible fits. The Denver Nuggets head into 2021 with a few interesting decisions ahead. The team is clearly established as a tier above the top Western Conference powerhouses. Denver is a tough out on a nightly basis, but long-term contracts to Jamal Murray, Will Barton, and Gary Harris severely limits the team's ability to make the next chess move. We can debate the value of Murray's contract, but the fit with Nikola Jokic works and in those two, the Nuggets have a productive duo. So the question we ask is, what is Denver's move? The Nuggets will likely have a first round pick and could look at Grant Riller as a possible fit and much cheaper replacement for Gary Harris. As for the on the court fit, Riller could provide a few interesting options. One that immediately stands out is moving Murray to an off ball role. While Jokic is the head of Denver's offense, Murray occasionally takes the point guard reins. In those moments, his performance can be downright maddening. Murray rarely gets to the rim and has a high propensity in settling for contested mid-range jumpers. In Grant Riller, Denver would have more of a downhill presence in the moments Jokic is on the bench. Most importantly, bringing in a cheap contract to replace Gary Harris opens up a new venue for Denver to improve the team. All right, final verdict. Grant Riller is a hot name among many of the NBA draft community. Riller flashes significant potential as a shot creator and a guy who can spot up from deep. While those tools are very intriguing, the NBA can be an entirely different beast. Riller must show development in other phases of the game. Foul calls will be much harder at that next level, and Riller will be called to involve his teammates as well. Where he slots in the draft pecking order is an interesting question. His polished game is appetizing for contending teams at the back end of the first round. In a draft full of question marks at the top, Riller could very well find himself among the top 20 names called. A player that can absorb early minutes with limited coaching attention. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure you follow my man Tiago on Twitter at tscabia. Check out his full article over at thepaintedlines.com. Make sure you smash that like button. Drop a comment and be sure to subscribe to the Painted Lines YouTube channel. It is Dives, Mr. Crockpot on Twitter. Stay awesome, everyone.